Hi friends, Miss Deacon here for writing time today. Happy Tuesday and welcome back. To, yesterday we talked about punctuation and capitalization in our sentences, making them really high quality second grade sentences. We're gonna continue talking about how to make our writing high quality in second grade. And today we're gonna to learn about adjectives, nouns, and verbs. So words that can help our sentences in our writing be even better and even more high quality, okay? So here we go. Today for materials, you just need your brain, you need your computer or your tablet, whatever you're working on, and you need this video to help you with your task at the end. Here's our target for the day. I say, then you say. So we're gonna, you're gonna repeat what I say. I can describe what adjectives, nouns, and verbs do. Good, so our goal is to describe what these words do and what they are. What do they tell us about an object, okay? We're gonna start by talking about an adjective. So an adjective is a describing word or a word that tells you something about an object or a person or a thing, okay? So here are some examples of adjectives that you could use to describe things. Blue, tiny, fancy, smart, special, large, funny, and cute. Sorry, you can't see that one down there. So those are all adjectives that describe or words that describe something. So if I was describing you, I would say you're smart and you're cute and you're funny, right? If I was describing this word right here, I'd say that's a large word. If I was describing a pretty dress, I would say it's fancy. So adjectives are words that tell you information about how something looks or feels or tastes or sounds. Okay, so I'm going to switch over to my iPad and I'm going to show you a picture of ice cream and we're going to describe it together. Okay, friends, so I'm just going to get that going. Give me one second. Here we go. Let's see. All right. There we are. Okay, so we're going to describe ice cream. We're going to describe what it looks like, what it tastes like, what it sounds like, what it smells like, what it feels like, okay? So let's start with what it looks like. I'm going to pretend, and you're going to pretend with me, that this is some chocolate ice cream. So it looks brown, right? Chocolate ice cream is brown usually. And then what else does it look like? It looks kind of round, right? Each scoop looks pretty round. So we're going to write round. That describes the shape of what it looks like. We go over here to taste like it tastes sweet and it tastes chocolatey, right? Because it's chocolate ice cream. So, so far we have four describing words, four adjectives. We have brown, round, sweet, and chocolatey. What does it sound like? It sounds like it's yummy, right? We're saying yum, yum. What does it smell like? It smells delicious, right? We want to use better words than good or cold or tasty. We want to use special words like delicious to describe what we're talking about. It smells delicious. It smells yummy, okay? And what does it feel like? It feels chilly, doesn't it? It could say cold, but I think chilly is a fancier word than the ice cream and it feels happy. I think ice cream feels happy. It makes your belly happy, it makes your brain happy. So these are all adjectives that can describe ice cream, chocolate ice cream to be exact. So we have brown, round, sweet, chocolatey, yummy, delicious, chilly, and happy are all a bunch of words. And we can think of so many more that describe ice cream. Now you can do this with any object in your house. If you wanna practice, go get a piece of food from the kitchen or a book and describe to your family what it looks like and what it feels like, and if it's food, what it tastes like, okay? All right, I'm gonna switch back to my screen here. And we're gonna move on past the adjectives to nouns. So nouns are really important parts of your sentence, okay? Nouns are a person, a place, or a thing. So nouns are things. Nouns are people and nouns are places around town. Here are some examples of nouns. Cat, it's a thing. Pencil is a thing. Pizza is a thing. Your house is a place or a thing. 
Rochester is a place, it's the place where we live. Miss Deacon, I'm a person, a teacher, a person, and a dress is a thing, right? So a noun is one of those words that represents a thing or a person or a place, okay? So we're gonna switch back over. Oh, we're not gonna go there yet. We're gonna switch back over to our iPad here. Sorry, friends, that this takes just a second. Okay, and we're going to sort these nouns down here. You see them down there? We're gonna sort them into if they're a person, a place, or a thing. I'm gonna write in a different color here. So let's start with farm. Here's the word farm. Do you think farm is a person? No. Is it a place? It could be, or is it a thing? I'd say a farm is a place, right? So we might go to the farm. If you can go to something, it's probably a place noun. So I'm going to cross that one out because we sorted it. A bug. A bug is a thing, right? Yeah, a bug is something that you can find. A king. King is a person. That's a really special royal person. A king. Now remember, all these words are nouns. School is a place. A horse is a thing. A farmer is a person. A nose is a thing, right? My nose is not a person, it's just a thing. An egg is a thing. A lady is a person. A library is a place. A city is a place and a teacher is a person. Okay, so I want you to look at all of these words that we have here. We have king, farmer, lady, teacher, farm, school, library, city, bug, horse, nose, egg. These are all nouns, all of them. Even though they're different because some of them are people, some of them are places and some of them are things. These are all nouns. So the noun is the important thing or person in your sentence. So if my sentence is, Adanya went to the store, the noun, one of the nouns, the most important one is Adanya. She's the person, right? The other noun is the store. That's the place where we're going. So nouns are, you have to have nouns in your sentences to make them high quality and complete thoughts, okay? You have to be talking about somebody or somewhere or something. So remember, a noun is a person, a place, or a thing, okay? Person, place, or thing is a noun. We're gonna go back here and continue. The last thing we need to talk about today is a verb. So a verb is an action word. It's something that you can do. Here are some examples of verbs or action words. Run, I can run, right? I can jump, I can learn, I can eat, I can see, I can play, I can read, and I can scream. These are all things that we can do, things that somebody can do. If it's an action word, it is a verb. All right, we're gonna switch back over. We're gonna do one more activity and then I'm gonna have you work on your own, okay, friends? We're headed back over here. Here we go. There we go, okay. On this page, we have a whole bunch of different words. Some of them are verbs and some of them aren't. Remember, it's only a verb It's a, if it's an action word, okay? So we're gonna go through and we're gonna circle the ones that are verbs and we're gonna cross out the ones that are not verbs. If you can do it, it's a verb. Okay, so let's start over here. Swim, is swim a verb? I can swim in the pool. Yes, swim is a verb. What about cat? Is a cat something you can do? No, a cat is a noun, it's a thing. Run, run is an action word, it sure is a verb. Glass, like a glass that you drink out of, that is certainly not something that you can do, that's a noun. Cut, I'm going to cut the paper with my scissors. Yes, it's an action word, it's a verb. Eat is a verb, we talked about that one. Talk, can you talk to me? I can talk to you, yes, that's a verb. Sleep is something that we can do, it's an action, yes, it's a verb. Walk, I'm walking down the street, it's my action, it's what I'm doing, it's a verb. A pencil is not a verb. Jog is a verb. Red, hmm, red is a describing word. Do we remember what describing words are called? They're called adjectives, so red is not a verb. Soap, my soap in the shower, that is not something that I can do. Not an action, it's a noun, it's a thing. Tall is another describing word. Tall certainly is not a verb. Dance, that's something I can do, absolutely. Dance is definitely a verb. 
Okay, so I want to show you one more example. If you look at this guy right here, he's a superhero, right? He's like Superman. He's got an ass and he's got a cape. He's a superhero. So I want you to think about action words that a superhero could do. What is, are things that superheroes could do? Remember, you're thinking about verbs. So you want to be thinking about things that we could do, we could move, we could create, and not about things or about describing words. For example, a superhero could probably jump. A superhero could probably help you think of one. What else could a superhero do? I'm thinking he could run, he could hide, right? He could save people. And what else could he do? He could probably leap, right? Jump really high and leap. So that is what a superhero could do. If you're talking about verbs, you're talking about action words and doing words, okay? So I'm going to head back to the computer here and talk to you about what your job is. So let's review really quickly. We were talking about adjectives, nouns, and verbs, right? So an adjective is a describing word. Words like blue, tiny, fancy, smart, special, large, funny, cute. These are describing words, words that tell you about something. A noun is a person, a place, or a thing. So things like cat, pencil, pizza, mystique, and those are all nouns that are people, places, or things. And then we talked about verbs, which are action words, such as run, jump, learn, eat, see, play, read, and scream. These are things that you can do. So your job is going to be, friends, to log on to your Google Classroom to go into, hold on one second, you're going to go into your writing with Miss Deacon tab in your classwork and you're going to click on Tuesday, March 30th. You're going to click on this assignment right here which will say adjectives, nouns, and verbs and you're going to answer those eight questions that are there for you, okay? So you're going to go on to Google Classroom, writing with Ms. Deacon, and then answer those eight questions about adjectives, nouns, and verbs. If you get confused, you're gonna come back to this video and you're gonna watch the part that you need again. No need to go through the whole thing, but if you're confused about verbs, go to the part where I talk about verbs. If you're confused about nouns, go to the part about nouns. And if you have any questions, remember you can type a question on Google Classroom. Your mom or dad or grandma or uncle or aunt could message me on Jojo, or you can ask them to give me a call and I can help you out. Okay, friends? I hope that you have a great rest of your day and I look forward to seeing how you do on your eight questions. I love you so much and I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye, friends.